Hi everyone, while you're looking at that graphic behind me that shows you how accelerated the magnitudes of the earthquakes at the supervolcano Campi Fligri are, how it has increased in numbers but also in magnitudes to earthquakes with 4.6 and this graph only goes till January 2025. So much has happened in the last six to seven months with a dramatic earthquake swarm just in February, March and they keep coming. We just had another 2.4 but before we start I want to give you a quote from a German scientist that just concluded a study that I have already reported about but what he says what his conclusion from that study is is in line with the results of all the other studies and it is scary guys here's the quote GFZ geophysicist Thorsten Dahm says that the VLP earthquakes mark a transition zone between the magma body slash magma chamber and the hydrothermal system. The shallow magma chamber and the hydrothermal system of Campi Fligri. So he believes it is likely that the fluids that are triggering the earthquakes that we're dealing with constantly at the moment are hot carbon dioxide that is escaping from a growing, and this is important, growing magma reservoir at a shallow depth of only 3.9 to 4 kilometers and he sees this as a sign of a brewing eruption and this eruption could based on current information reach the dimensions of the monte nuovo 1538 eruption where this new mountain the crater that you see here was formed this is not a super volcanic eruption but really, really bad for the people that live right on the caldera, right on the supervolcano, and for the people around it, greater Naples area, more than 6 million people. Of course, it is still uncertain when this eruption is going to be happening, but we see all parameters are accelerating. And you might ask, um, he mentions VLP earthquakes that mark this transition zone between the magma body and the hydrothermal system. In context of that, just today, there was a publication where scientists try to explain or find an answer of the glooming question that everyone has. Could Europe's supervolcano erupt? We have increased seismicity right now and then the researchers did find these VLPs these long period oscillations and this was for the first time that they were able to measure this long frequency waves during earthquakes and that indicates that fissures in the caprock layer and in these areas are being filled with hot gas in the subsurface. And it matches the increased gas emissions that are being measured, plus increased temperatures. Especially since last year, the earthquakes have become stronger and more in numbers. They have shaken the region around the Fligrian fields, Campi Fligri, the burning fields, Europe's most dangerous supervolcano, and that is near Naples, more than 6 million people. And at the end of June, we even saw earthquakes ranging in the 4.6, which for a volcano, guys, is really, really high and concerning. Scientists say the highest earthquakes since the Monte Nuovo eruption. That tells you something. So do these frequent earthquakes, the increase in magnitudes, does that indicate an impending eruption? And more importantly, who would be at risk in the event of an eruption? A lot of attention is being paid to the geological phenomena that are happening around the volcano and inside the volcano. And that is understandably so, because 
They were two massive eruptions, one 39,000 years ago, one 15,000 years ago, and they have spewed so much ashes into the air, some of which has, have reached as far as Russia and researchers believe, and that's interesting that this, these ashes, they basically acted like gigantic sunglasses. They have cooled the global climate, the global climate by several degrees. So the growth of important food crop is likely to have been significantly restricted. Currently, at the moment, there are few signs that we would deal with a mega eruption with a super volcanic eruptions. But, here's the but, however, due to this densely populated area, since they're all living on the volcano, basically, over 6 million people live in the greater Naples metropolitan area, even a relatively small scale eruption of Campi Flegri could have catastrophic consequences, even if it's without magma, even if it's just a phreatic eruption. But we've seen with the Monte Nuovo eruption, a phreatic eruption was paving the way for the magmatic eruption that was following. So that hot CO2 gas that has also been released, we see the fumaroles everywhere, fills large cracks above the magma chamber, that magma bubble, that is only at a shallow depth. So an international research group with also the participation of German researchers, researchers from the INGV, they have installed additional seismometers in the area above the volcano in recent years to learn a little bit more about what's happening, what's driving these earthquake swarms. And while they were evaluating the new data, looking for just to measure earthquakes, they discovered something that they haven't seen before in this area. So for the first time, they saw very long period signals, VLPs, that occurred during the recent earthquakes and are still occurring during the recent earthquakes. We just have a swarm going on. Here's the list with the recent earthquakes. And by the way, again, just a few hours statement, Mayor of Pozzoli declares the earthquake swarm is ended. And then, I don't know, a few minutes later, statement, Mayor of Pozzoli says earthquake swarm has started. I think this is BS, guys. I think this is continuously. If you look, where where do you see an end of an earthquake swarm between August 23rd and August 24th? Doesn't make sense. This is just to calm nerves down, I think. So these VLPs, these long signal waves, have a dominant frequency in the range of 0.11 hertz, and they have lasted between 60 and 90 seconds. Why is this so important, guys? It is very important because such monochromatic long period signals are atypic, non-typical for, for tectonic earthquakes. So we're not dealing with tectonic earthquakes here. They indicate that there are fluids in the system beneath the volcano that are moving and that are vibrating. This is what they found. And specifically, this is likely the hot CO2 gas as it has been escaping in large quantities from the so-called fumaroles on the surface of the Solfatara for years. Something's heating that up, right? And now, thanks to that, and that's why this is so important to look at these VLPs, and that's why um, the German researcher came to the conclusion that I quoted at the beginning of the video. They can now trace the path of these magmatic gases. So the fumaroles that you see coming out everywhere, now they can trace them. So in their analysis, the researchers have combined the long period signals with the data from the tectonic earthquakes to derive a picture of the situation underground. And so they assume that at a depth of only 3.6 kilometers, there are already large cracks that weaken the system and they are below the earth, filled with hot gases and hydrothermal fluids. And where are these cracks? Unfortunately, they lie right above the growing magma chamber. 
This tells you something, right? And in the last study that I told you about, they found a crack that was specifically concerning. A long, long crack, one kilometer long. When there's the magma chamber, this was basically like a straw that could give way for the magma to the surface. Very, very concerning. I put that video in the end screen. You should really watch this, guys. So what we have to understand, although these VLPs, these, these long period oscillations are of course associated with earthquakes, the researchers see them as an independent phenomenon that is originating from resonating or rather vibrating fissure in the earth. And they write that the causes are on the one hand, the growing magma chamber, and on the other, the escaping CO2. None of them is really a great option. And that fits with the growing number of volcanic earthquakes that I've shown you at the beginning of the video. And the land rise, the current uplift of the ground near the Solfatara, where we see most of the epicenters of the earthquakes. 1.5 meters at least since 2005, it has accelerated since 2024. So this series of earthquakes that you see in this chart could, but of course they don't need to, but they could culminate into an eruption. That's what the researchers are saying. So the German guy says eruption likely, his Italian colleagues from the INGV suspect that the most likely scenario could be similar to the eruption of 1538 Monte Nuovo, because the earth shook regularly before the structure and the center of the tremor suddenly changed. Then a magma chamber, the magma from there was rising up, shifted sideways shortly before the eruption. And then the eruption occurred, forming that new crater, the Monte Nuovo. So if that was about to happen again, and many scientists are calling for an evacuation, hundreds of thousands of people would have to leave the region. And there were people living there already in 1538. Most residents were able to be brought to safety in time and only 24 people were lost. But you have to put in perspective how many people were living there at the time and the millions of people that are living nearby right now. So even right now, if an eruption were announced a few days in advance, with, which is unlikely that they have that much warning time, evacuating the area would likely be a lot more difficult today slash if not impossible because we already have roughly half a million people living right on top of the supervolcano in the red zone. And then we have almost 6 million in the greater Naples area. So it's essential that they conduct these studies and that they learn as much as they can. They say they still know not much. And in that context, we just had the news that an international company wants to drill in the red zone right into the supervolcano. They want to drill geothermal wells, which is also crazy, guys. I put that video also in the end screen. I have a playlist for Campi Fligri. You should really look at that. So I hope you found that interesting. As always, if you want to fill me up with coffee to keep me going, check the link underneath this video, buymeacoffee.com slash silky. Click the join button to become a supporting member for behind the scene videos. Welcome to all my new members. Welcome to our new Silver Level member. And uh, I hope to see you soon. And thank you for your supers. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, clicking the notification bell. So check out the videos in the end screen here. And I hope I see you soon. And I have a very interesting video in the end screen about Seattle. They found that two faults were triggered at the same time in Seattle, which was leading to a 7.8 area um, earthquake in a very widespread area. Forests were submerged, new lakes were forming, landslides, bad. Check this out, guys. I see you there in a second. Bye.